Alright, welcome, 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 welcome back to the video. <laughs> tell you. The fanatical. Fanatical. Fanatical, fanatical, fanatical mindset of how they condition uh, nigga peers to be, particularly the religious ones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Particularly the religious ones. Right? So, you know, it's a reason, it's no wonder people are moving away from religion. And again, you know, when you show the world exactly what religion does to the minds, the fanaticalness, right? The, the, the mindset that these people can do whatever they want. Okay, now they can use religion as a reason for committing all kinds of crimes, atrocities. Yeah, people are moving in for it. And particularly when those people are in positions of power, right? Particularly when they are in the police force, we're in the government. Okay? You know, it's interesting to talk about New York City uh, Mayor Eric Adams. You know, he's elected mayor. You know, you see all these people in the church. They see black people. We, we're we're so indoctrinated with this bullshit. You know, a black person get elected. You know, if he's a religious person, they all lay hands on him. Yes, man, you were selected by God. You know, God put you in this position. No, God didn't put you in the position. The people put you in the position. Okay. And the reason why the people put you, most people put you in this position, particularly because you sold black people out. Look. I mean, picture his nose. You sold black people out, right? Particularly when it comes to uh, the police department, and you talk about um, bringing back the criminal, um, you know, units that terrorize black men, terrorize the black community, and so you gain white people's support because of that, right? And black people voted for you because you're black and you're a Christian. But look what's happening. All right, look, look what's happening. Okay, and they should, you know, for black people, again, my people sometimes can be the most dumbest people. You had a candidate who was saying that, you know, he was going to do something for black people in particular. That he was going to make sure our schools get funded properly. He was going to make sure that the police don't abuse your sons, your fathers, your brothers, your mothers, your sisters. No, they didn't want to vote for him. You know, they didn't want to vote for him at all. Like I said, you know, religion is a bad deal. We keep falling for it if we're not awakening our minds and eyes to the lies of religion. Again, and you see most of these people who are you claim to be highly religion and, and of God. They're the most narcissistic. They're the most, they have the most sociopathic and psychopathic mindset and a propensity for corruption when they get into positions of power. All right, again, I'm not saying that, but look, you know what I'm saying? There's, there is a track record on this, right? It is document. There is a documented history on this, so I'm not just saying that. But the people that love black people, that want to do something for black people, right? They turn us against them and we turn against them because they're not in this particular uh, religion or what have you. And that was, and, and you know, religion is going to be one of, well, not one of, but religion has been one of the tools that they use to keep us under control. And it's gonna, they're going to use it to, as a tool, and they continue to use it as a tool for our downfall. And, um, you know, there's just not enough awakened people, awakened black people, or conscious black people, to, you know, teach the truth, right? And yeah, talk to you guys in the next video.